Hello, this is Oliver at Bedford Car Sales, and this is the walk around video for our 2005 Bentley Continental GT. So, we've just taken this in part exchange recently against a Porsche KN Turbo. Um, nice looking car overall, um, colours very nice. Bearing in mind the age of the car, she is 19 years old. Um, overall, very tidy indeed. Um, little mark there on the back bumper if you're being hypercritical, but other than that, she's very tidy. Uh, six litre twin turbo double. W12, uh, producing 550 brake horsepower. These are no slouch. W12 private number plate on the car as well. Very nice indeed. Got a blacked out grill. Overall, she does not look her age. Um, she's very tidy. Very tidy indeed. So, let's open her up. So, keyless entry system on this one works. Let me just show you. Just press the button and the car locks. You see that red LED flashing? Pull on the handle and she unlocks. Um, Grey lever inside. Bentley stitched in there. Absolutely lovely. Bear in mind the age of the car. Overall, lever condition is pretty good. Bit of wear on the seat bolster just from people getting in and out, but nothing unusual. Into the rear of the car. Seat condition again. Overall, very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Beautiful quilted lever as well. A very very nice looking car to be quite honest with you very nice indeed so these are very well specced for the age of the car let's just pop this seat back a bit far away from me now so you've got electric memory seating obviously down here as you would expect adjustable leg support on the front so if you're a bit longer in the leg no problem at all you can stretch that out just to give you some extra support um, there is three memory settings on here um, so overall um, lovely though that quilted leather carries on through the door card as well it's um, criminal really the value for money these are now to be honest with you but as I say it's um, not big money at all it's used Mondeo money um, for effectively what was once upon a time pretty much classed as the ultimate GT car because performance wise nothing else touched it oodles of piano black and leather running through absolutely lovely really nice indeed all the usual toys cruise control auto lights also wipers um, fantastic so keyless start So she's on 81,143 miles um, as I say, overall, uh, these are such good value for money now. Um, if you don't mind the running costs, fantastic piece of kit. Full book pack, all present and correct in there. Uh, you've got the nav drive and the CD drive in there as well. Um, other things to note within this car, heated seats, obviously, as you would expect. And uh, we do have active suspension on this. So you've got comfort and sports modes for the shocks. So if you twist this dial here, and lets you alter the settings for the shock absorbers to alter the dampening effect then you can go to sport or comfort or somewhere in between uh, we do also have as well this button here which lifts and raises the height of the car so if you're going in a car park you can pick the suspension up and lift the car up so the whole car lifts to give you better ground clearance if you're in one of those horrible little car parks where they've got those really tight little inclines on them um, as i say overall um spec wise very ahead of their time these to be honest with you awful lot going on in here so full climate control air conditioning as you would expect beautiful elegant timepiece in the middle there i like the fact that they kept the idea from the older turbo r's and whatnot as well um got these beautiful push and pull vent open and closes look at that and that's something from the early cars that they seem to have kept hold of um just a just a nice sort of old school touch um, to what is effectively the gentleman's GT really um, electronic parking brake down there as I said we do have the power folding mirrors as well so as I say overall very nice indeed there we go um, lovely to be honest with you stereo system is of good quality very crisp as you can hear bearing in mind age of the car and how all this sort of stuff develops over the years overall very good to be honest with you um so um <clears throat> sat nav as you can see 
That's a telephone system, so telephone not available because obviously it's a it's not a Bluetooth system on this. She's too old, I'm afraid. Uh, traffic settings tally in within the uh, within the maps once you're in, and then you've got tire pressure information and all the vehicle settings, and you've even got handbook issue part here so you have to load the cd in though for the handbook there is a cd available for these that keeps all that information um but as i say overall um bearing in mind the age and mileage of the car she's a she's a lovely old thing to be honest with you lovely old thing so telephone module tucked away inside there original telephone cradle as well inside the armrest the armrest do lift up and underneath there is your cup holders tucked away in there and old school as well nice cigar lighter in there and an ashtray takes a bit of a push to get them in there we go and these are height adjustable these armrests as well on a ratchet system so let's open the boot we'll show you in there Give her a little rev for you. Listen to that. What a fantastic sounding machine. God, I do love this W12. Gorgeous engine. In the boot. See, boot space is cavernous, absolutely huge. Um, it's always nice to see as well, cars which have original boot liners in them because that shows care. So I like to see stuff like that. If we keep going deeper and deeper below all of this, we have a space saver spare wheel in there with the toolkit as well. But as I say, original boot liner is always a plus, I think. Always shows a good element of care to a car. Um, overall, lovely condition as you can see. Does have a little shoot at the back there if you've got something bigger to get in. Warning triangle stowed here at the back. Overall, lovely. Do have an active spoiler on these as well. So let's pop the spoiler up just to show you that. So the spoiler does come up at speed, but you can bring it up at the touch of a button, like so. I think they're prettier with the spoiler down though, to be honest with you. So that bit of extra downforce. Wheels overall, nice condition. Couple of marks if I've been hypercritical, but it's got the split rims uh, with the color coded gray on the inside. The chrome finish, very nice. So passenger rear. Again, seat condition overall, very nice indeed. Um, as I say, it's, it's a lovely looking thing. Lovely looking thing. The Bentley production tag there in the side. Bonnet pillars here, massive, great big billet handle, superb. Everything's made of such good quality and requires a bit of effort. Everything's very solid. So, under the bonnet, the B pops up and you have to lift the B to open the bonnet, like so. There we go, look at that. There is no space left under there. I could not put a bigger engine in this if they tried. Six litre twin turbo W12, as I said before, 550 brake horsepower. Um, impressive piece of kit, really is very impressive indeed. Awful lot of performance for not a lot of money, to be honest with you. So, for the new owner, this absolutely gorgeous looking Continental GT will come with a 12 month MOT and also come with a 12 month premium breakdown cover package and a six month warranty as well. And we're one of the only dealers out there to back their cars so well at point of sale. Um, we do also offer for our customers as well, free delivery within 125 miles. So if you can't come to us, we can come to you. So. That's the end of my walk around video on our 2005 Bentley Continental GT. If you have any questions, anything at all, please do not hesitate to either give us a call, ping us over a message, or send us an email, and we'll do our very best to help you. Thank you very much, I hope you have a lovely day.